Hello and welcome. Today's tap along is to help calm the overwhelming feelings of grief. So if you're struggling today, you will feel some shift by the end of the video. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy Shoemaker and I help people who are struggling with grief unpack and manage all their emotions with ease and grace so they can feel peaceful again. So today's video does not constitute medical advice because I am not a doctor a counselor, a therapist, a psychologist, or a psychiatrist. I guide people to develop better life skills, and this video should be used to help you feel calmer and more at peace where your grief is concerned. And it will be best to be in a safe place, sitting and hands-free. You should not be actively participating if you're driving or operating any equipment at this time, because I will be asking you to close your eyes and focus on my words as I guide you through this process. So right now, I want you to just get in touch with your grief and your unique situation. I want you to close your eyes and just notice how you know you're experiencing this grief. Are you seeing any images? Are you hearing any words? Maybe there's a tone of voice that you're hearing in your head. Maybe you feel sensations in your body, like in your chest, your stomach. You might have a headache. Wherever that is, just notice it. Now, I want you to rate your grief. Give it a number from one to 10, with 10 being that it's really strong. And one means it doesn't really feel too bad right in the moment. And you're gonna use this number system to reassess your progress throughout this video. So we are going to be tapping on acupressure points with our fingers. We will be tapping between the eye, on the side of the eye, under the eye, right on this bone right here, the collarbone. You can use one hand or two hands, doesn't matter. And then you'll be grabbing your wrist. That's as easy as it gets, between the eye, side of the eye, under the eye, collarbone and wrist. So to get started, I want you to take a deep, easy breath breath in and as you release it i want you to ground into your physical body take another deep breath in and as you release this one i want you to ground into this moment with total focus I want you to feel the chair under you or whatever you're sitting on. Feel the support. Tune into the healing power of your body on a conscious and a subconscious level. Your system is always trying to keep you safe. I want you to take another deep breath in. Release it out. You are safe. Now we are going to start the tapping process to reduce the intensity of your grief. I just want you to tap where I tap and repeat what I'm saying either out loud or silently to yourself, whatever you feel comfortable with. So just start tapping right here. Feel your fingers on your skin and just repeat after me. I'm releasing and letting go of all my sadness, letting go of all my fears. I release all the stuck feelings, all my feelings of abandonment, releasing my angers, releasing all those feelings of resentment, the guilt, all my feelings of overwhelm. Feelings of being helpless. Feelings of being hopeless. Releasing all my feelings of rejection. The feelings of no control. And anything else connected to all my grief right now. Grab your wrist, take a deep breath in, blow it out, 
and say peace. All right, now the next step is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to go to a memory that makes you feel happy or at peace. And I just, I want you to step into that. Seeing what you saw, feeling what you felt, hearing what you heard. For example, for me, I go to my favorite place, which was my vacation in San Francisco when I went with my husband. Hearing the trolley cars, the seal pups in the bay, seeing that fog roll in, seeing the water in the bay, and feeling the sun on my face as we walked those piers, that's where I go. If you don't have a memory, make something up in your mind. That'll work just as well. You can be your own movie director and actor in your movie. Just do something inside of you that makes you feel good. And as you step into that feel good place, when you get that sense of peace, squeeze your wrist again. And if you need more time to achieve that feeling, just pause this video and give yourself more time. Now let's go back to the grief and feel it again. Notice the images, the sounds, or any sensations in your body. Got it? Let's start tapping again. I just release all the images. I release the stories that I'm playing. I release the sounds. Releasing the tones. All the sensations in my body. Letting them all just fade away. Letting them dissolve. Releasing anything that I'm saying to myself about this grief. Releasing the struggle. Releasing the stuck feelings. And I give myself permission to feel more peaceful now. Grab your fist. Take a deep, mindful breath in. Release it out and say peace. Very good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go back to that happy place wherever that was in your mind. Just step into it. And when you're ready, when you've got that feeling, squeeze that good feeling in by grabbing your wrist. And remember again to pause the video if you need more time. Now go back in, find your grief, Notice what's changed and notice what's left and reassess zero to 10. How much feeling or how much grief are you feeling now? And has that number started to come down a little bit? And if it hasn't, that's okay. Don't judge it. Sometimes it doesn't move right away. Feel your fingers on your skin. Releasing the feeling that I can't cope. Releasing all the sensations in my body. Letting go of what all of this means to me. Letting go of all the ways I'm letting this suffocate me emotionally. Releasing the exhaustion. Releasing the mental movies. Releasing the grief. I surrender and just let it be. And I give myself permission to feel calm. Grab your wrist. Take another deep, mindful breath in. Blow it out. Peace. Okay, we are going to rinse and repeat. So that means we're going to go back to that happy place in your mind. Find that feeling of calm. That feeling of peace. And when you're ready, squeeze that good feeling in by grabbing your wrist. Take a deep breath in. Release it out and say peace. Now go back in and focus and find your grief. Notice how things are changing even more. Zero to 10, how much grief are you feeling now? All right, let's feel your fingers on your skin. 
I released the anxious feelings, letting go of all the heaviness, releasing the way I let other people control my feelings, releasing the guilt, letting go of the need to figure everything out right now, surrendering and letting it be. It's okay not to be okay. One moment, one thought at a time. I am starting to feel just a little bit better. I'm just surrendering and letting it be. Grab your wrist, deep breath in. Peace. All right, you know what we're going to do, right? We're going to go back to that happy place in your mind. Find that good feeling, that feeling of peace. Step into it, see what you saw, hear what you heard. Feel what you felt. And when you're ready, squeeze that good feeling in. Grab your wrist. Deep breath in. Release and peace. Go back. Find your grief. Find what's left. Notice if anything came up for you in that last round. Zero to ten. How much grief are you feeling right now? And just notice how you know what's left. Just pay attention to that as you feel your fingers on your skin. I release the need to cry. I release all the sadness. Validating all of the sensations in my body and all the messages that they're sending me. Letting go of all the remaining sensations. Turning off the movies in my head. Muting all the sounds, the tones, the voices, releasing the loneliness. I am starting to turn this around and I give myself permission to feel better now. Grab your wrist, take that deep mindful breath in, blow it out and say peace. And when you take those deep mindful breaths in, just notice or just know that that is when you have shifts that start to take place. And if you find yourself yawning, that's a good sign. That is a physical sign that you're definitely getting shifts. So embrace the yawns. All right. Now let's go back to that happy place in your mind. Find that feeling of peace and of calm. And when you've got that feeling, grab your wrist, take a deep breath in. Blow it out and say peace. Let's go back in, find your grief. Notice what's left. Zero to 10, how much grief are you feeling now? Got it? Okay, feel your fingers and your skin. I'm choosing to change my thoughts. I am feeling more peaceful. I am feeling calmer. I am taking my personal power back. I give myself permission to feel happier at this moment. And I give myself permission to feel more peaceful. I honor my loved one by clinging to the good memories, cherishing those, cherishing the gifts they brought to, into my life. It is safe to be happy and peaceful. And I choose to move forward with ease and grace by honoring my loved one the best way that I know how. Grab your wrist, take a deep breath in, blow it out and say peace. Now let's take a final assessment. Zero to 10, how much grief are you feeling now? Drop in the comments below any changes that you experienced. If you were having physical, physical sensations, how did those change? Like the, did the intensity go down? And maybe sometimes when you have a sharp stabbing pain, that goes to a dull ache or sometimes entirely dis disappears. So things really do change during these tapping rounds. And if you found value in this video, please share, give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing. And I wish you more peace and hope now and in the coming days ahead.
See you later. Bye-bye.